Take a look up at the night sky. On a clear night, you can see thousands and thousands of stars. And among them is a giant star, a star that's almost at the end of its life. This star is called Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, one of the biggest and brightest stars we know about. It's part of the Orion constellation, which is easy to spot because of its bright red color. What makes Betelgeuse so interesting is how close it is to Earth. It's about 640 light years away, which is pretty close when we're talking about space. Because it's so close and so big, Betelgeuse is a perfect candidate for a spectacular event, a supernova. Betelgeuse has been acting a bit strange lately. Astronomers have noticed that its brightness keeps changing, which makes them think that it might be close to the end of its life. These changes in brightness, called dimming events, have gotten scientists and everyone else really curious. So, is Betelgeuse about to explode? Well, like most things in space, it's complicated and we don't know for sure. But the James Webb Space Telescope has given us some clues about what's going on with Betelgeuse. These observations are helping us understand this giant star and what happens before a supernova. The James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched at the end of 2021, is like a brand new way of looking at space. Its tools are so good that we can see the universe in more detail than ever before. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which came before it, the James Webb Telescope can see infrared light. This means it can see through clouds of gas and dust, showing us things that are hidden when we look with regular telescopes. This is super important for studying Betelgeuse. This red supergiant is covered in a huge cloud of dust and gas, which makes it hard to see its surface. But the James Webb Telescope can see right through that cloud, giving us a much clearer view of what's happening on Betelgeuse. The James Webb Telescope has shown us a lot about Betelgeuse. It has taken really detailed pictures of the star's surface, showing us huge cells of hot gas moving around and plumes of gas shooting out into space. These pictures prove that Betelgeuse is being very unstable, probably because it's running out of fuel in its core. As a star gets older, it uses up all the hydrogen in its core, and that changes what's happening inside the star. For Betelgeuse, this means it pulses and erupts, throwing huge amounts of material out into space. The information from the James Webb Telescope is really important for understanding these processes and figuring out what will happen to Betelgeuse in the future. The Anatomy of a Supernova, a Star's Grand Finale In this section, we're going to learn about one of the most amazing and dramatic events in space. A supernova is one of the most powerful events in the universe. It's a huge, bright explosion that happens when a massive star is at the end of its life. It's the explosive death of a star and it releases so much energy that for a short time, the supernova can be brighter than an entire galaxy. There are two main types of supernovas, and each type has different characteristics and happens in different situations. Type 1 supernovas happen in systems with two stars, where a white dwarf star pulls material from its companion star until it gets too big and explodes. This type is called a Type IA supernova, and it's really important for measuring distances in space. Type II supernovas happen when massive stars like Betelgeuse run out of fuel. These stars are usually at least eight times bigger than our sun. As the core of the star collapses under its own gravity, it creates a shockwave that tears the star apart, scattering its pieces across space. This is called a core collapse supernova, or a Type II supernova. These star explosions are really important for how galaxies evolve. They enrich the space between stars with heavy elements that are needed to form new stars and planets. The leftovers from supernovas, like neutron stars and black holes, are also really interesting to study because they can tell us about the most extreme conditions in the universe. The heavy elements made in supernovas, like iron, gold, and uranium, are spread out into space, and they become part of new stars and planets. Without supernovas, the universe wouldn't have the ingredients needed for life as we know it. In areas where stars are forming, the material from old supernovas comes together to make new stars. These areas, which often look like beautiful nebulae, are where stars and planets are born. The remnants of supernovas, like pulsars and neutron stars, are still a mystery to scientists. These remnants are incredibly dense and have strong magnetic fields, giving us a glimpse into the extreme physics of the universe. The cycle of stars being born and dying, 
driven by supernovas, is a fundamental process in the universe. It makes sure that material is constantly being recycled, leading to the formation of new stars, planets, and maybe even life. Supernovas aren't just the end of a star's life, they're also the beginning of new cosmic journeys. They show us how everything in space is connected and how dynamic the universe is. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced telescopes like the James Webb, we're learning more about these amazing events, which helps us understand the cosmos and our place in it. If and when Betelgeuse explodes, it's going to be an amazing sight from Earth. Just imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing one of the most powerful events in the universe happening right in front of you. The star, which is already one of the brightest in our sky, will suddenly become even brighter, creating a cosmic show that people will be talking about for generations. The explosion will be so bright that we'll even be able to see it during the day. It will be brighter than the full moon and might even cast shadows at night. But don't worry, there's no need to be scared. This is a rare chance to see the incredible power and beauty of our universe. The light from the supernova will be so strong that it will be visible for weeks, maybe even months, giving everyone plenty of time to see this extraordinary event. Even though it will be visually stunning, Betelgeuse's supernova won't hurt Earth. The star is located about 642 light years away, which is far enough away to make sure that we are safe from any harmful radiation or debris. We get to enjoy the show from a safe distance, amazed by the sheer size and power of the explosion. The distance to the star, while relatively close in terms of space, is still too far for the explosion to have any real impact on our planet. Betelgeuse is part of the Orion constellation, a familiar sight in our night sky. Its supernova will temporarily change how this constellation looks, making it even more interesting for stargazers and astronomers. This event will give astronomers an amazing opportunity to study a supernova up close. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to gather information about the final stages of a massive star's life. Scientists will be able to watch the explosion as it happens, gaining insights that could take years, even decades, to uncover through other means. The data collected from Betelgeuse's death will completely change our understanding of how stars evolve and the life cycle of stars. By studying the light and other emissions from the supernova, researchers can learn more about the processes that control how stars are born, live, and die. This knowledge will not only deepen our understanding of the universe, but also help us to better understand the origins of our own solar system and the potential for life elsewhere in the cosmos. Even though Betelgeuse's supernova won't directly harm Earth, we will notice some effects. The explosion will release a burst of gamma rays, which is a type of high-energy radiation. But don't worry, Earth's atmosphere acts like a shield to protect us from gamma rays. The main thing we might notice is a temporary change in our planet's ozone layer. This change could cause a small increase in ultraviolet radiation reaching the Earth's surface. But this effect is expected to be short-lived and very small, so it won't be a significant threat to life. After the supernova, Betelgeuse will leave something behind, either a neutron star or a black hole. Neutron stars are incredibly dense objects, packing the mass of the sun into a sphere just a few miles across. Black holes, on the other hand, are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Whether Betelgeuse becomes a neutron star or a black hole depends on how massive its core is when it collapses. These remnants, even though we can't see them with our naked eyes, will continue to affect their surroundings, shaping the space between stars and maybe even helping to create new stars. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations of Betelgeuse are a big step forward in our understanding of how stars evolve. This advanced telescope, with its cutting-edge technology, allows us to see deeper into the cosmos than ever before, showing us the intricate details of stars and their life cycles. By studying this giant star in such detail, we're learning valuable information about the processes that control how stars live and die. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, has always fascinated astronomers. Its sheer size and brightness make it a perfect subject for studying stellar evolution. We don't know exactly when Betelgeuse will go supernova, but the observations suggest that it won't happen anytime soon, at least not in astronomical terms. 
The data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope is crucial for understanding the star's current state, helping scientists to improve their models and predictions. It could happen tomorrow, or it could happen thousands of years from now. The uncertainty is part of what makes Betelgeuse so interesting. Astronomers are constantly watching the star, looking for any signs that might mean a supernova is about to happen. No matter when it happens, Betelgeuse's supernova will be a spectacular event, captivating the world and providing a wealth of scientific data for generations to come. The explosion will be visible even during the daytime, and its brightness will be similar to that of the full moon. It's a reminder of how vast and amazing the universe is and our place within it. Studying stars like Betelgeuse not only helps us understand the cosmos, but also inspires a sense of wonder and curiosity about the universe we live in. As we continue to explore the stars, we uncover the secrets of our own origins and the fundamental processes that shape the universe.